हेलो फ्रेंड वेलकम टू माय चैनल टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट स्पेनिंग ट्री सो फ्रेंड इफ़ यू लाइक दिस वीडियो देन सब्सक्राइब आर नो एवरीथिंग चैनल एंड आल्सो कमेंट एंड लाइक ऑन दिस वीडियो ओके फ्रेंड सो लेट्स स्टार्ट स्पेनिंग ट्री फर्स्ट यू नो अबाउट ग्राफ आई विल शो यू अ ग्राफ here this is an graph a graph contain number of vertices here a b c d e all of these are vertices and each vertices are connected to another vertices through an edge this is a and b are connected to this edge a and c connected through this edge and a and d connected through this edge and so on okay friend now back to spanning tree a graph which contain all vertices with minimum number of edges it simply means to say means we need to connect each vertices with minimum number of edges okay so i will show you how can how can we draw a spanning tree for this graph suppose this is a graph and we are drawing a spanning tree for it here we take a vertices and b here c here d and e b connected with f through this edge f with h through this edge and g here so we see here all the vertices are connected and number of edges equals to 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 7 okay friends seven are the total number of minimum number of edges which are used to draw a span tree minimum number of edges equals to number of vertices minus 1 here total number of vertices are 8 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so number of vertices is 8 8 minus 1 is 7 so minimum number of edges are 7 this is a spanning tree you can also draw another spanning tree through like this a b connect here f connect it with h with g you can connect g with e you can connect here a with c a with d okay friend so count number of edges 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so total number of edges will be 7 so number of edges is equal to number of vertices minus 1 you can draw any type of spanning tree but you must remember the number of edges will be always be less than vertices in this there are two traversing method the first one is breadth first search and the second one is depth first search so these are the two traversing method which are used in a spanning tree okay so i will explain you one by one first i'll pick breadth first traversing method here first point is for breadth first search traversing method we use q we use q as you know q is based on fifo first in first out method okay so here i'll take the same example and second point is we can pick any node start 
from any node okay friend i draw a queue this is queue this is front where we can dq means delete the element which in queue sorry this is rear we here i can add a new element so n queue okay friend so based on q on a start from any node we pick first node that is a here a is first node i enter it this node in q okay i enter a second point is uh, completed here and first point also completed here number third point is explore all adjacent vertices explore all adjacent vertices connected through selected what this is okay friends so here we selected first node is a so explore all the node which are connected to a so here a is connected with b c d and e so we take in any sequence b c d e or e d c b whatever whatever your need you can do anything so i will select in this sequence b c d e so a b c d e okay friends here our third point is also completed because it is a queue so we always take element from front so b take b how many nodes are connected through b so f f is the only node which is connected through b okay friend so we write here f now take next element c c is connected with again f f we already write here written here this one now take d we always select element from front so take d here d is this one d is connected with g so we write here g take e e is also connected with g which already written here then next is f take f and f is connected with h so here we traversed all the node with minimum number of edges so the traversing sequence is a b c d e f g h okay friend this is breadth first search first we select any node you can select b either b either uh f either h any node and then select all the adjacent node connected through that node so a is connected with b c d e i write all the nodes in a queue here b c d e now select that node and find their adjacent node okay so this is how we do breadth first searching okay now move towards depth first search 
now we see depth first search here we take same graph now there are few points in depth first search is first point is this traversing is based on stack we use stack for the traverse of spanning tree in depth first search so use stack as you know stack is based on lifo last in first out we use push and pop technique in stack second point it is a like pre order traverse like pre order traverse what is pre order traverse here root left and right okay friend so start traversing this we draw a stack okay this is an stack stack third point is we can start from any vertex start from any vertex so here i will start from a here i will start from a so we put here a now which node i need to traverse first so number 4 point is all vertex vertices adjacent to selected vertices are traversed recursively all vertices adjacent to selected vertices here is here is the selected vertices adjacent to vertices a is b so we traverse b so in stack we put b we don't need to traverse all the vertices at a time we just put it in a stack b and now selected vertices is b we just find next vertices which is connected to b so here b is connected with f so we put f here as it is a stack we always use top element now we find next uh, what is which is connected to f so f is connected to h f is connected to c okay friend so here we take c you can also take h okay so f is connected with c not top element is c here c is connected again with a a already traversed this one is a so we see the next top element f and f is now connected with h okay so here we put h in stack okay now c which node is connected with the top element of stack that is h g is connected with h so we put here g in stack okay friends now top element is g which node is connected with g we see d and e so we can 
take any one either D or, or E so I will take D okay now top element is D which node is connected with D D is connected with A which is already traversed so we back to one step next top element is G so G is again connected with E so here we write E so our traversing is completed we create a spanning tree with num minimum number of edges here the traversing is A in this way we first we traverse A then B then F then C then H G D and E okay friend so here we see what's the difference between breadth first search and depth first search where we use Q and where we use stack so this is uh, um, this is a calculation of a minimum edges in spanning tree so friend thank you for watching my video and if you like it then subscribe it